Hey everyone, here is your second dose of animal behavior. So today's topic is nuptial gifts. Can you think of what nuptial gifts mean? Now, here's our two words, nuptial gifts. So I think you know what gifts mean, right? G-I-F-T-S, gifts, like something you give to someone else at a birthday party, a wedding, an anniversary, all sorts of reasons. So, but what about the first part? Nuptial. Nuptial. N-U-P-T-I-A-L. Nuptial. Okay. Nuptial means marriage or relating to marriage. So, a marriage gift. Okay, but what does a marriage gift have to do with animal behavior? With animals? How does how does that connect? I mean, animals don't get married, right? I mean, besides humans. So there's something else with animals that signifies kind of coming together, being together in a attraction, a relationship, if you will. If you're thinking in your head, mating or choosing a mate, you'd be right. So, before some animals mate, they give a nuptial gift. So, what kind of gift, though? I mean, we give, like, chocolate and flowers for Valentine's Day, or for a wedding, you have a wedding cake with wedding gifts. But I don't think it's that kind. It can actually be a number of things, and it can be given in a number of ways creative animals. So what are the rules of a nuptial gift? So rule number one, this nuptial gift has to be nutritional. It has to be healthy and helpful. Maybe a little bit tasty. So the second rule we have there, we'll, we'll come back to that first one. You'll, you'll see pretty soon. The second rule is that it must be given from male to female. Now, I know, that seems a little bit sexist. Just, well, why can't the female give the male a nuptial gift? Don't worry, don't worry. You will see, you will see. There, there's a reason to it. There's a, there's a reason. Okay, so the gift might be something as simple as a dead bug. Maybe some prey, some different things that's dead or alive that you're giving as a gift. It could also be chemicals, so healthy chemicals, an animal could secrete that or inject that in some way to the other animal. It's like, here is the gift, have some chemicals. They're nutritional and healthy, I promise. So who gives nuptial gifts? So we know that humans give nuptial gifts in a sense, not the dead bugs and stuff, flowers and chocolates and things like that. But what about animals? So what we have found is that birds, can give nuptial gifts, insects, spiders, and scorpions. There's some more, but those are the main ones we're talking about right now. So now you're thinking, okay, I get it. I know what a nuptial gift is, but why is it given? What's the point? You could say, I'm being nice. I want to show that I care about you, and I want to give you a nuptial gift. Sure, sure, being nice is a good reason, but with animals there's a little bit of a more pressing reason why a nuptial gift is given. Get ready for it. It is a big term. Sexual cannibalism. Yes, you heard me right. I said sexual cannibalism. Two words that are uncomfortably together. Mm. So, not just sexual cannibalism. They give the nuptial gift to avoid it. You know, cannibalism doesn't sound good in any form, but a nuptial gift is given to avoid sexual cannibalism. A nuptial gift is given. So, that's right. The male animal gives the female a tasty little nuptial gift so she won't eat him during sex. That's, that's what that means there. Just like, 
Ooh, oh, that's gross. Uh, so pretty much the male is like, here, here's a gift. Eat that. Don't eat me while we mate. Yeah, that, that male is living a pretty interesting sex life. So one more part to surprise you with. So we know that sexual cannibalism is something that is avoidable with giving a nuptial gift. Hold on to your seats for this one. Okay, a nuptial gift, or a sexual cannibalism, is also a nuptial gift. Hold on to your seats. Oh my goodness, it's, it's also an... Are you telling me that you can give the gift of sexual cannibalism to the one you love? Crazy stuff. All right, so sexual cannibalism can also be a nuptial gift. So for the animals who aren't like, here baby, I found this dead bug for you, or like, hey, I'm ready to give you some chemicals from my body into yours. For the animals that don't have that possibility, they will literally give themselves. For example, the praying mantis. Praying mantis during sex? The female will bite off his head, and he will, he's headless now, that was his gift his head. She eats that up. Mm, great. And crickets. Crickets may give their leg. Their leg. The female will just snatch that right off and he'll, he'll have no leg and she'll chomp it right up. So yeah, it can also be a gift. So sexual cannibalism for the female isn't just because she's a psycho and she likes to eat men. She's not just because she's crazy. She might be crazy too, but that's a whole nother matter. No, she gets nutrition from the sexual cannibalism that she can use in her body to help her babies. When she's mating with the male, she's getting all that nutrition in different ways that will help her produce healthy, happy babies. So, while the female is distracted getting her nuptial gift of whatever kind it is, then the male is able to go in and do whatever he needs to do to mate with her. Whether it be having his head bitten off and then he just keeps mating, or she's distracted eating her little treat and he sneaks up behind her and he's like, alright, sex time. You know, something like that. But that is nuptial gifts in kind of a, a quick manner of education. I do have my animal behavior instructor to thank for this. Uh, thank you if, you if you're watching this video. And you probably know that uh, I learned from you because it's really great information that you've taught me. Fun fact, before you go, uh, it's also a gross fact. So if you don't like gross facts, just end the video now. So when a male prey mantis has his head bitten off by the female, this will actually speed up his ejaculation during mating and will quicken it, making it a more successful mating period. Yep, all right, that's nuptial gifts, animal behavior for you. Hope you enjoyed, learned something new. Just go up to people now and be like, sexual cannibalism. Have a good day.